Hi everyone! Hello! If you're watching this video, you're more oily, your skin would be considered normal, meaning that you don't react to most product, you don't really have sensitivity. You're also even, so not too much uneven skin, so pigmentation, sunspot. And you probably weren't in the sun a whole lot in your years. Good for you, I mm. wish. <laughs> <laughs> and you, this skincare needs to be more geared towards prevention, making sure that you don't get too much wrinkle. Mm -hmm. The one thing that you may be battling, it's overall your skin can have that shininess. And if it's something that does bother you, there's something we can do. I think it's completely normal, but I know some people don't like that shine. So mm -hmm. there's something that we can do without stripping your natural oil too much, because in your case, that oil is important. Exactly. Yeah. Yeah, what goes along with that too is um, some enlarged pores or some blackheads, especially in the T-zone because that's where you usually produce you know, more of your oil. Yeah, so that's kind of like the main concern that we're gonna help you deal with. Mm -hmm. Look. So when it comes to nourishing the skin for people that are more on the oilier, maybe more resistant skin type, um, I'm a big fan of vitamin C in general, mm -hmm. okay? Vitamin C is healthy. You still need to make sure we have the right one, but I love vitamin C because it does help for to even skin tone. It helps build collagen, um, the firmness, the brightening. I really like vitamin C for the specific skin type. And usually they're more resistant, so I can um, go a little bit strong and I don't get a um, sensitive reaction, right? right? Um, having a form of vitamin A also really important and um, can be a little bit of retinol, retinol dehyde and um, usually I keep that one for night time, mm -hmm. you know, so usually I take my all my protector like vitamin C and all that, I put that daytime where my vitamin A should be for night time. So you kind of want to prevent in the morning and correct in the evening. Yes, correct. So like I said, all those ingredients are good for your skin, but at the end of the day, you need to protect your skin. Yes, protect your investments, like yes. buying insurance for your car. Exactly. Mm -hmm. um, it would be really annoying to invest to do all that and then, you know, get back to square one because yeah. you did not protect your results. Mm -hmm. So if there's one thing you can do to your skin is to apply a sunblock. <laughs> Awesome, I hope you enjoyed the video and reach out if there's anything else we can do to help you. Bye. Bye.